Episode 110. Welcome to Style Masterclass, the podcast that teaches women to look stylish and feel confident so that they can show up ready to conquer and slay no matter what size they are. I'm your host, Miss J. You ready? Welcome back to the podcast. This week, we're going to talk about confidence. I'm going to teach you my confidence equation. I believe that confidence is a measure of believing in your capability and then availing yourself of that capability. So it's capability plus availability. And this week, I want to deep dive into the first part of the equation and then stay tuned for next week's episode where I talk about that availability part of the equation. Let's start with capability. Now, most of us tell ourselves that we can't do something. I can't do this. I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to put together an outfit. I don't know how to give a talk. I don't know how to do the X, Y, or Z in my business. Here's the thing. A lot of the times, the things that we tell ourselves we cannot do, we're actually physically capable of doing. The question becomes, what is really holding us back? And most of the time, it's not our actual capability. We have the physical capability. We can type on a computer. We can physically go and stand and talk. We can put together a pair of pants and a top and put them on our body We are physically capable of doing the task that we want to do. So it comes down to a thought process that's occurring, that's causing you to tell yourself you don't know how or you can't, and then having low confidence or none at all, and then not taking any action, and then creating this feedback loop where you're always telling yourself you can't, so you don't. And it all starts with a thought process of, I can't, I don't know how. And I really want you to start questioning that thought. Okay, what is the physical thing that is required of me to type, to show up on camera, to talk, to put one leg in a pant, one boob in a bra? Okay, well, I actually physically can do those things. So what's holding me back? What is the thought behind all of this? And a lot of times working with my clients, we come to the realization that they're physically capable. They're just choosing not to because they've stopped believing in themselves somewhere along the way. They believed that they couldn't, so they didn't. They just stopped trying altogether. Belief is such an important part of the confidence equation. And it's not like some people are born with it, some people aren't born with it. It's not like only extroverts have a strong belief in themselves, because I can tell you, I know plenty of extroverts, myself included, whose belief in themselves happens to waver sometimes. Welcome to being a human. I also know introverts who are supposed to not be that confident, who are extremely confident and know their value. They believe in their capability. They believe in their worth. This is such an important thing to know. Because if belief in your capability is the first part of the equation, then that's certainly something we can work on. And it doesn't depend upon which accolades you have. It doesn't depend on the size or shape or weight of your body. And it certainly does not depend on your know-how, so to speak. Because you can always gain more know-how. You can always gain more experience. It's whether you believe you have sufficiently garnered enough experience to believe that you have value and worth And here's the thing, so many people are chasing that moment when they can say, okay, now, now I have the piece of paper, therefore I can be confident. And we're chasing some external thing to prove to us that, okay, now we can believe in ourselves. And I want to tell you, no, no, no. 
because I know so many super, super brilliant women who have chased credentials and still have a low belief in themselves. So I know it's not the external piece of paper. I know that it's not dependent upon know-how or experience, both of which can be gained over time. Then what does it come down to? Because what are we making that piece of paper mean? What are we making that size on our pair of pants mean? The number on the scale, what are we making that mean? We're making it mean that, okay, when this external thing happens, then I will believe that I have worth and that I'm valuable. And it's like we're waiting for this external tipping point so then we can go do the thing that we always wanted to do. And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. There's no external signal in the world that is going to generate that belief for you. But that's the good news, really, because if we're always waiting on some external signal, we'll be chasing that shit forever, and that's exhausting. And I know so many of you are exhausted. You thought if you got to X level in your business, you would feel more confident. You arrived at the perfect size, the weight, you'd feel more confident. If you got that degree or that certification, married that guy, had the kid, whatever it is, fill in the blank, then you'd be more confident. And I can tell you all that's rubbish. And for so many of you who are on that hamster wheel of chasing that next thing, you know how exhausting this can be. So the good news is you get to generate that belief in yourself whenever you want, however much you want. Because it's all dependent upon how you are thinking about yourself. That's really what the first part of the equation is. Do you believe you are worthy and have value? Now, I believe that your value, your worth, is part of your birthright as a human being. It's already in there. It was placed in you. Whether you believe in a creator God, which I do, or you believe that your parents' concoction created you, either way, you're a created being, and therefore, your value and your worth are innate. They're in you. They're part of your birthright. Now, whether you believe that or not at this point is a big part of the equation I want to invite you all to work on. If you don't believe it yet, why not? If you believed it at some point in time, when did you stop believing? Because if you can pinpoint that moment, my darling, you can remember that there was a point in time. And you can also remember, again, that you are valuable and worthy. And if you can believe that, it's so much better to take action from a place of belief in yourself so that you're never dependent upon some external circumstance to tell you you are valuable and worthy. So you're more willing to take risks. You're more willing to embrace discomfort. You're more willing to show up to do the thing that you were placed here to do. But it starts with your belief. It starts with your thought. And if you're not there yet, and I want to invite you to work on this with me. I'm going to be doing a three-day challenge coming up soon. There will be more details to follow. And we are going to deep dive into the confidence equation. And I'm going to invite you to work on the capability side of the equation, the availability side of the equation, <laughs> and or both. But it all begins with your belief. And it all starts with a thought. Check in with yourself this week and stay tuned for next week's episode. So much love for you. Miss J out. Thank you for listening to today's episode. To learn more about how to work with me, go to judithgatan.com. Click on the Start Here button to get access to my free personal style class. I give you a quick style win, a confidence boost, and you walk away with the tools to start getting stylish. Who doesn't love that? See you there. Miss J out.